Uh, today, inshallah, uh, I will talk about uh, one medication uh, that uh, dispensing uh, through outpatient pharmacy. It's uh, expensive medication, but it doesn't uh, need yellow card as in pharmacy policy. This medication is Mercera, methoxybolyethylene glycol epoetylene Before I start, why I select this topic? Actually, because more than one patient, they didn't know how to handle the Mercera. They broke in the uh, needle and they asked us to replace uh, them with another needle. Because of that, I will concentrate or I will focus on how to prepare Mercera, uh, how to inject Mercera in the skin. But before that, I will talk about first what's Mercera and uh, for what it's used, what's the dose, contraindications, and desirable effects, special cautions. And then finally, I will focusing on preparing for inject injection by the pictures. First of all, what is Mercera? Mercera is a form of hormone called erythropoietin. This erythropoietin is a hormone which is produced by the kidney that's involved in the production of RBCs or red blood cells. So, people who have kidney problems often become anemic. Why? Because at the condition of their kidney worsen, they produce less erythro erythropoietin. Uh, so of that, Mercera is used to treat anemia associated with chronic renal failure. Anemia is a lack of red blood cells in the body. This is the simple definition of anemia. Here I want to ask one question. Can we use Mercera in um, anemia that associated with cancer chemotherapy? Why? Can we use anemia, uh, Mercera, used in anemia associated with why it's used, uh, uh, why it's Mercera used in anemia associated no. with chronic renal failure? Because the problem in the kidney, the kidney is, the yeah, chemotherapy, yeah, chemotherapy, it cannot affect the kidney. Some of medication cannot affect the kidney. So, and the uh, result of anemia of uh, other causes. So Mercera is uh, not for treating anemia caused by cancer chemotherapy, only for chronic renal failure. There are some clinical points for dosing. This is special part for uh, pharmacists. First of all, target hemoglobin level with Mercera is 12 gram per deciliter. When you start the treatment of Mercera, you have to keep in your mind the goal is 12 gram per deciliter. The first clinical point, <clears throat> if hemoglobin has not increased by one gram per deciliter, after four weeks of therapy increase dose by 25%. What it does it mean? I will give you one example. For example, if the current dose 100 microgram, so multiply the dose by 25 and then divide it by 100, 100 will remove it with 100 and the result will be added to the current dose. So the final dose, it will be 125 microgram. Is it clear? The second clinical point, if hemoglobin increased rapidly, for example, one gram per deciliter in any two weeks period, reduce dose by 25% or more as needed to reduce the rapid response. For example, 100 microgram multiplied also by 25 divided by 100, 100 will be removed with 100, then 100 minus because the dose should be reduced by 25%. Minus uh, 100, uh, it was so the dose it would be uh, 75 microgram. This is the final dose. The third clinical point if hemoglobin doesn't reach uh, 11 gram per deciliter within 12 weeks, that's around three months. So the Mercera in this case should be discontinued and patient required RBC transfusion. Anemia or Mercera should not be used in uh, children below uh, 12, uh, 18 years because the safety and efficacy is not established in pediatric patients. Okay, what's the dose of Mercera? Uh, start Mercera treatment when hemoglobin level um, uh, less than 10 gram per deciliter. The initial dose 0.6 microgram per kg IV or subcutaneous every two weeks, but most of the patients 
they prefer use subcutaneous or IV subcutaneous. Yeah, because it's easily uh, used. Okay, I think nobody in outpatient now. Uh, usually, Mercera, what's the. Yani usually, you notice that this uh, Mercera every two weeks or one, four weeks, one month. But why the dose here every two weeks, the frequency? Because this is the initial. Usually, you, when you notice your patient comes in maintenance, at maintenance stage. Because maintenance dose after stabilizer hemoglobin level once monthly, as you see, you uh, using a dose that is twice that of every two weeks dose and subsequently titrated as necessary. For example, if the patient come with his weight 70 kilogram, 70 multiplied by 0.6, because here the dose 0.6 microgram per kg, so it will be equal 42. 42 multiplied by two weeks, so the final dose is 84 microgram per month. The adverse effect of Mercera more than 10%, what's the meaning adverse effect more than 10%? That means every 100 people, that means 10 people severing of this side effect, hypertension, 13%, diarrhea, nasopharyngitis, that's with inflammation in nasopharyngeal tube. The adverse effect on the person from one to two percent headache and upper respiratory tract infection, cough, and urinary tract infection. There is black box uh, warning of Mercera. Uh, for example, increased risk of death and serious cardiovascular event when Mercera used to target hemoglobin level more than 13 milligram per deciliter. Uh, I, I, I told you the target is 12 gram per deciliter. Sorry, this is gram. So the, um, when increase the hemoglobin level more than 13 gram per deciliter, there is increased the risk of death and serious cardiovascular events. And Mercera increased mortality or tumor progression in patients with cancer. And as I said, not approved for chemotherapy induced anemia. There are some contraindications to use Mercera and controlled hypertension, uh, pure uh, red cell ablasia that begin after treatment with Mercera, pure red cell ablasia, that means type of anemia. There is increase, uh, the RBC is decreased, but the white blood cells and platelet are normal. So all in these cases, and controlled hypertension, uh, PRCA is contraindication to use Mercera. There is some cautions to use Mercera, used with caution with patient has history of cardiovascular disease, or hypertension because one of its side effects with the high rate hypertension, or history of seizure. Let's focus on the use of Mercera. First of all, open the covering and remove the brittle syringe and needle. Break the seal and remove the plastic cap from the back of the needle. As you can see in this picture, this is the plastic cap. Seal the uh, plastic cap from the back of the needle. Then remove the rubber tip cap from the brittle syringe. It may require strong pull. Then the fourth step, attach the needle to the prefill syringe. Then put the prefill syringe on its side with the needle cover on. This will keep the needle from touching anything before uh, you use it. Choose an injection site as in this picture. Uh, you can select the abdomen, the upper arm, and the upper thigh. And choose a new injection site each time you inject Mercera. For example, in the first day you inject in the upper arm, the second day here, the second, the third day here, fourth day, fifth day. The sixth day, on another, when you reach to the first point, attach it on, uh, inject it on another area. Clean the injection site with the new alcohol swab. 
hold the brittle syringe in the hand that you will use to inject Mercera and use the other hand to pinch a fold of, of skin at the clean injection site as you can see in this picture. Hold the brittle syringe like a pencil or like a pen. Insert the needle into the skin on the uh, uh, either uh, vertical or uh, uh, on the uh, 45 degree uh, angle. Pull the plunger back slightly after inserting the needle into the skin. If blood comes into the brittle syringe, don't inject Mercera because uh, the needle has in, uh, entered in the blood vessels. What you can do in this case, remove the needle from the skin, slightly reposition the needle within the clean area and repeat. If blood, blood doesn't come, slowly push the plunger all the way down until all medicine is injected. Take the needle out of the skin without releasing the plunger. This is the important technique. I will tell you why. Without releasing the plunger. Why? Because there is plastic needle guard. A safety mechanism to prevent accidental needle sticks. Will not move forward to cover the needle unless the full dose is given. Then, in this here, this step, you can release the plunger after removing the needle from the skin. This allows the syringe to move back until the entire needle uh, is guarded. This is the step that the patient may don't know. Place a cotton pole or gauze over the injection site and press for several seconds. Finally, dispose the uh, syringe with any remaining liquid in the puncture uh, prop disposable container or chart container use preferred syringe one time only. Finally, uh, what's the same step in this video, but sorry, it's in Arabic. Uh, this video, it's put it in the uh, YouTube, in the pharmacy channel. Uh, 